Well, hello friends and welcome back to the cabin. I went as far as I could go with that ditch and the tractor. So the rest of this is going to have to be hand dug. And it is hard enough that I'm going to have to use this spud bar right here to dig through all that shale. But it's not too hard when you have this right here. It's just slow going. But I've got to dig from there over to here so that I can connect this uh, in the same piece of conduit that I'm going to bring this front uh, set of panels down in and I'm going to run two runs of the conduit that way if we decide to add anything later we'll have a spare one but uh, anyway I think I have some help showing up today to help me I'm going to try to get this end dug over here and that end up there I've got about eight feet on that end try to get that in today that way I can cover this back up
So I thought I would show you a little bit of the versatility of that bed extender that I made. That is a 20 foot tile, 18 inches. Uh, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, so all I did was threw a couple of 2x4s on there to kind of uh, keep it up off the ground on the back because I knew it would bend over. And then some straps, but yeah, check it out. So he should be here shortly. What he's going to do is he's going to put this in the driveway right here. He's going to put it in from right here. It's going to go across the driveway right there to drain. This is the natural way that this property drained, although we had to move it about 15 feet from over there over to this side. But as long as it can make its way down the mountain and past the house seat, that's all that we are concerned with. And I'll show you what we've got left to do here. We're still going to take some dirt and fill in from right here over across to that corner over there. This is all topsoil, so I'm not for sure where he's going to take any more out. It might be behind me right here on this bank, or he may take a little bit more from that side over there. But regardless, we have plenty of dirt to fill that hole in, that's for sure. And then they're kind of ready to start digging the footers and setting blocks for her crawl space so that they can start moving on with the foundation. Anyway, just thought I'd bring you down here and give you a little update. take a minute and walk down here and take the dogs to the creek. I'll tell you what folks, fall is here. You hear that? Yep, I'm stepping on poplar leaves that are starting to fall. They're always the first to go and just prior to that is the dogwoods, like I said before, putting out those red berries. Anyway, and you can also feel it in the air. What are you doing? Are you just looking at the camera? You are, aren't you? Yeah. You're being Hollywood, aren't you? Looking at the camera. <laughs> What's Dolly doing? Huh? Are you a good girl?
well now they're happy so we can get back up there and see if we can't get something done too late in the day for me to go get any supplies i need uh some 22 degree elbows to actually turn up over here to come inside so i thought i would lay these out pre-cut them and then stack them to the side because i've still got to dig this ditch right here but that gives me something to do Our building is nine foot in depth and it is eight feet wide. So I'm marking off the nine foot right now. Well, I can make two of three floor joists that will actually go in the middle right there. We're going to have to mill up some more lumber. two of them. They actually go this way. Well I went and picked up some more supplies so we'll see if we can get this far end fixed where we can cover it up and then I can come up here where I'm building this foundation get that set then we can start digging this ditch across over there to the cabin. So I'll meet you down there. Well, this pipe right here did not want to make this corner very well because I was having trouble with this glue, it kept coming undone. I decided to go ahead, prep it, and just go ahead and put uh, some 22 degree angles on it. That way, everything would work out okay. Here we go.
All right, I've got another 22 right here, and we're gonna put it right, oh, let's say, right about in there. Then I'll take my knife, kind of go on the edges there a little bit. This one I don't have actually have a string in it because this is a spare one. We can always blow one in there. And I could have blown one in this other, but it was just as easy to put the string in there. I think this glue right here is doing a much better job. That other, it just... One of the joints, we let it set up for 45 minutes and it still wasn't um, right. Okay, we'll get some on this end. And then this pipe will be in place and we can actually cover this ditch up. i tell you what, folks, it sure is nice when a plan comes together and you got everything you need to do it with, right? <laughs> that was my problem. I didn't have enough supplies. Well, we're going to see if we can make another one of these turns and come up out of the ground with this, and then I can actually cover it up, so that'll be nice. Really, really nice. Get this all cleaned up. Put a little glue on this one right here this post gets cut off quite short so this is not going to go up very high on this post right here All right, friends, I'll give you a quick little look-see.
All right, that's the back one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of let that settle some, get a good rain on it, let it pack down in there. So then I can properly fill that ditch up with the remaining dirt. Now what we've got to do is this little mini hut. We've got to connect that in and get it covered up. Then we've got to dig the ditch over to the main cabin. Well, I'm going to try to get this pipe turned up here. And I'm still lacking a 90 degree elbow. How about that? Alright, what I did was, is I extended that one that was short up even with that, and as soon as I get a 90 degree angle, we can bring that up through the floor. Well, it's supposed to rain for the next four days, or a chance of rain anyway, so I think what I'm going to do, instead of opening this ditch up here over to the cabin, and getting a chance of it getting all wet, not being able to cover it up, and then trying to drive in and out of here, I think I'm going to go down here and work on the solar array, because I have an idea how to support these panels when I actually set them up there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to take, this is representing a 2x4, I'm going to take and rip one down. Um, that way it kind of have like a 2x2, two two, and I'm going to screw this on down here on the bottom. That way the panels can come down and rest on this. And these screws that I put in between the panels to hold them down on this unistrut, I'm going to snug them up, but I'm not going to crank them down really tight. Because this down here on the bottom is going to support the weight. These are just going to hold them down to keep them from coming off but to allow for flexion and you know, uh, contraction and expansion, um, I'm not going to tighten those down too tight because I don't want to crack my panel. Well, I thought I would take you down here where Jennifer's going to build her house and kind of take a look at it and see exactly where we're at. They've still got some work to do on this bank right here, but they've got the driveway where people can actually get in and out, the contractors. So there will be a little bit more work done onto this. He may end up taking the same amount out of that right there as he has done down here. So that will give her quite a bit of dirt that she can use. Then at some point she's going to have to get gravel on the driveway here. Starting out with the larger rock and then as she adds more it can actually be smaller. She's got a really good drain over here with uh, quite a bit of slope to it, so that's going to be nice underneath her driveway. So there's still some fill dirt that will start up there about where that topsoil is right there and come right across through here to join these two together and then gradually be sloped off in that direction. So I'm standing right on top of where the septic system is going to go over here in the far corner. So we'll have a tank that actually sits underground right there with lines running down to three rows of field lines down in that area so this is standing on the back corner uh, but this is the area that she's got cleared out so far to be able to set that large house that she wants to over in this little hollow then later on when they get ready to do the landscaping they're going to go up there and they're going to terrace that or actually stair step it off and it's going to be wide enough on each step that jennifer can actually have uh, like a raised bed garden all the way up that bank 
This area right here is just down below the cabin where I had stacked those plastic pallets and then where I decided to put all of the logs that we got from this area. Well, so that's kind of the update so far until they can get the plans where they had changed to offset the garage a little bit until they can get those uh, actually on the prints and mailed out to everybody. Then there's going to be a little bit of a delay for the contractor to actually come over here and start digging footers uh, to pour concrete and set the block. So then the other contractor comes in here and he actually builds the flooring, which includes the subfloor, uh, builds the wall, sets the trusses, puts the metal on that, the metal on the side, and then they leave, and then other contractors, I'm sure that Jennifer is going to be hiring to finish off the inside. But anyway, that's kind of the steps so far where she's at. Uh, she is going to have to get temporary power and water down here, but we don't know if those people actually need it or if they bring their own with them when they're actually working out, you know, in uh, remote rural areas like this. Well, friends, we certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.